Daria Abramova of Russia, a very experienced fighter, got a bronze medal 10 years ago back at the World Championships. Best result, a gold at the Europeans in 2016, a silver at the same competition two years later, then at European Games in Minsk in 2019. A bronze, the European Games that year, doubling up as the European Championships. Kamenova has been around for a good while as well. She got a bronze at the World Championships in 2012 also, and a silver at the Euros in 2014. Won every round against Vilma yeah, Vitan and of Finland in her semi-final. Abramova had a split decision win against a fellow Russian in Lyudmila Voronsova. So this is the final fight of the session. This afternoon session. Final session of the tournament to come up a little bit later, six o'clock local time. Four o'clock Greenwich mean time. So Abramova Russia in the red, Kamenova Bulgaria in the blue. Looking for the jab early on there, coming over Southport. She is. Just flicking lead hands, these two. Right hand there attempted by Abramova. Right hand to the body from Abramova. Left hand straight down the middle from Kamenova. Not too much landed in the opening minute. Neither of these two has really got their range yet. Kamenova has got the height advantage, a little bit of reach advantage that comes with that, but. Abramova has got quite long arms herself by the look of it, so I don't think there would be all that much between them actually in terms of reach. Long arms is one of the things that makes you suited to be a fighter. Just snatching at that left hand a little bit there, Kamenova, rather than shooting it straight through the centre, choked it a bit. Carries those gloves low, Abramova. Nice and relaxed look to her. Right to the body there from the Russian. Jab landed there from Kamenova. Not much on it, but it found the target. And just leaning in with the head there, Abramova, trying to draw something from Kamenova. Gloves high, just hinging at the waist a little bit. Looking for that right to the body. She's landed a few of those. That might just about be enough to, to see her win this first round. But 40 seconds remaining, yeah, plenty that could still happen. Referee telling these two to engage. They'll be quite sparing with their work in this opening three minutes. A 
Fell goes at the end of the round. Ico red corner there. Abramova off the two landed the greater number of scoring punches, I would say, and also was looking to dictate terms a little bit more in there, holding the centre of the ring. There wasn't a massive amount in it. Well, Svetlana Kamenova gets it with all five of the judges ringside. As I said, there wasn't a huge amount in it. I preferred Abramova myself there. I thought that right hand to the body did some good work for her, landed another one there, and she was generally speaking the fighter. It was holding the centre. She looks a little bit more like the boss in there, so I think she's a bit unlucky. The Russian there, not to get anything in that opening round. We'll see how she goes about things in the second. <laughs> Flicking that jab, coming over. <laughs> Referee maybe needed to make his presence felt a little bit more there. Issuing the instruction to stop with the masks in place. It's a bit more difficult for referees, things can get lost, particularly when there's a crowd. And Kamenova looking for the uppercut, landed it the third time of asking there, right up close. Abramova, I don't think like that very much, just pushing off with the forearm and just getting a little bit touchy between these two. The ref at some point during this round, I think, might just have to get hold of the pair of them and tell them to, to clean things up a little bit, possibly. Abramova closes in, finds the body with the right hand and followed by the left. And then Abramova ends up dumping Cameron over onto her back there. And he's having a word with the pair of them here, the referee. I think maybe he needs to be just a little bit sterner. Midway through round two. Nice jab, flick jab up from the waist there from Cameron over. Always moving that lead hand, whether she's throwing it or not whether she's really looking to land it or not it's always there serving as a distraction some of the time good left hand there from Cameron over Just lost her balance and she came forward a little bit there, Abramova. A right hand snuck in from Kamenova. Abramova again just looking downstairs with that right. Kamenova with a long one too. The, the left hand got there. Final 30 seconds of the round and I think it's the blue corner he's had the better of the second round by my reckoning. Abramova's just a looked a little bit tight in the second round, a little bit frustrated. It's been quite messy. As coming over, I think he's got to grips with things a bit better in the second round. Good left hand there from the Bulgarian. Then lucky flat uppercut again, and Abramova just pushing off with the heel of the glove a touch. So we. Most likely, I would say, we'll see Cameron over two rounds up through two. On my card, it'll be one apiece, but the judges all went Abramova's way in that opening round. And indeed, 20 points to 18 for Svetlana Cameron over, and it looks very much like she will be claiming Bulgaria's third gold medal. They were due to have three finalists in this afternoon session. Unfortunately, Yasin Radev for Bantamweight was unable to box against Mahmoud Sabakhan of Kazakhstan due to injury. So Sabakhan won that 
with a walkover, but then we saw Radoslav Rosanov get the win in the previous fight. And the fighter in blue here, Kamenova, is going to get the win against Daria Abramova of Russia, unless Abramova can really turn it on in this final round. Nice combination there from Kamenova. No knockdown scores. A couple of good punches did connect there, but I think it was just a tangle of front feet, and that was what put Abramova down. Chopping down with that left hand nicely there, Kamenova. The gloves were up from Abramova, so it didn't really get through. Left hand into the body. Well, she doesn't need to lose a point in this final round here. Kamenova, that's really the only way that this could go wrong for her. If she had a point deducted and lost this final round, that would tie things up at 28-28, and then we'd be looking at judges' decisions. And that's all she really needs to be mindful of, because if she loses this round 10-9 with all five judges, it doesn't matter. Left hand there from Kamenova. Body attack from Abramova. Looking for the one two again there. Kamenova. Into the final minute. Left to the body. Kamenova. With a tight guard there, and she stays in close. <laughs> Pot shotting with that left hand. Right towards the end of the round here, Kamenova, who just goes for a little walk. She's got this under control. She's got the gold medal. Nice combination, finishes with a, a right hook. There goes the belt. And this will be a third gold medal for Bulgaria. They're second in as many fights. Svetlana Kamenova joins Radoslav Rosanov and Stonomira Petrova as home gold medalists at this 73rd Stranger Memorial Tournament. Good performance from her. I had her winning myself in the end. I went Abramova in round one, but Kamenova in rounds two. And rounds three, and it was a clean sweep for her across all five judges' scorecards. So we've got some medal ceremonies now. Thank you very much. Three judges to the medal ceremony. This concludes our afternoon session. We'll be back at six o'clock. Thank you. So four more medal ceremonies to finish off this afternoon session as we watch some highlights of that fight we've just seen.
And that went from Cameron over puts Bulgaria on three gold medals. So they go into third in the table as Pakistan leading the way still with five. Russia on four, Bulgaria three. Ireland, Kazakhstan and India all with two apiece.